Hi, everybody. Certainly feels like November, right? Uh, hey, real quick, because uh, the October climate report came out this morning, and we thought this would happen. Remember how warm and dry it was the first 20 days of the month? We actually caught up in the rain department. We had over three inches of rain. It was just a little shy of a quarter of an inch below normal, so that was okay. But the average high came in at just under 72 degrees. That actually tied the October of 1987 for the warmest average high temperature for the month of October. The average low was fourth warmest at uh, just about 51 degrees. But here's the big, the big deal. The mean temperature at 61.4 was almost six full degrees above normal. That goes in the record book as the warmest October all time. Remember, we had the warmest mean temperature all time for August, for September, and for October. That's three months in a row, which is practically unheard of in the climate world. So that, that's crazy. Okay, I want to get you in to what's going on. It took a while, but, you know, once we got past, say, 3 o'clock this afternoon, showers started firing. You see on the radar right now some rain moving east of 205, another big batch coming over the coast range. And a reminder, um, you can see the showers really lined up offshore. This is my uh, satellite radar page on my desktop site, portlandweather.com. You can also find all this information on my app. What I wanted to remind you was if, if you scroll all the way down, this is lightning detection. See the little X's, yellows, reds, the X's? That's lightning detection. So this shows in just a little bit uh, in the past 15 minutes or so, a lightning strike up around, uh, looks like the Kelso Longview area. And we had some strikes down around Salem earlier this afternoon as well. So a reminder, that lightning tool is there for you as, as well as all, all of the imagery pages that I have right here. Uh, we are keeping an eye on what's going on with Mount Hood. These scattered showers will be continuing overnight tonight. They continue on Wednesday. There's a cold upper level low sitting offshore. It's going to fuel all of this. So snow levels that drop to about 3,000 feet today will go down to 2,500 feet tonight and then stay there. So here we go. It's 24 at Timberline, but it's 32 at Meadows. That's not bad, right? And then it's 31.6, 32 degrees at Government Camp right now as well. So that's not bad. And if you read what I have written here, Likely snow showers continue into Wednesday. Look for snow-covered roads early tomorrow morning. Ground temperatures will be colder, so check conditions before you travel. And then the next system coming in, the big one, Friday, we'll see snow levels go all the way to 8,000 feet. We get this, right? So that's rain, and then they lower to 2,500 feet again by Sunday morning. And again, you can see, if you click on this view word and forecast, you can see the government camp uh, forecast right there. But check conditions on my Mount Hood page. I really take great pride in thinking that's the best overall Cascades Mount Hood page you'll find online. Okay, live cameras. Some of these are down. We're working hard and getting them back up, but this is also great. If you look how dark and rainy it is out in Gresham. Remember the radar showed that rain just moving east of 205? So that's Gresham, but the rain coming down right now out of Gresham Subaru, the dark clouds, and then kind of fun to see the snow on the ground at Sun River. It's also a great tool on my website. But let's get you to the nuts and bolts of the forecast. So scattered showers, sun breaks continue on Wednesday. I think we'll have more sun breaks than we had today. That will fuel, though, the ongoing threat of some thunder and some hail. And then that rain chance ends Wednesday overnight. It actually ends pretty quickly Wednesday evening, it looks like. Thursday, we could wake up in the morning to temps in the 30s for the first time out at the airport, forecasting 38. Um, if we have fog, which is a decent chance, we'll have some mist with that. Otherwise, this is a dry day until we start a rain chance late afternoon. And maybe that rain holds off until the evening. There's a push of warmer air that comes in Thursday overnight. So we'll definitely get the rain picking up then. And then Friday, it's rain more than not. And then that strong front comes in early, early Saturday morning. So this still looks like it could be over an inch of rain Friday overnight into Saturday morning. We break it in the showers during the day. And then guess what? There's another cold upper level low that fuels rain at times on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We may get into some showers of hail and possible thunder there, but look at the temperatures, only in the 40s for those three days in a row. This is a very cool, very wet, very active start to November, right? Um, look for, under my weather headlines link, look for my winter outlook coming soon. Also, my Portland Weather uh, Rod Hill Facebook page. I did that on KGW this morning. I'm working to get it out on all of the platforms. I'll talk to you soon.